What's up everybody? My name is Chaos Duncan and welcome back to Inscription, where it seems to me we have a new game to try. Let's see what happens when I do this. Since last time we completed uh, the uh, Cabin in the Woods section, and I'm sure there's more to this mystery than just that. But let's see where the rabbit hole leads. Initializing routine. Unexpected data encountered. Hey! <laughs> okay. Renewal. Start a new game. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. <laughs> My apologies. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Oh, are those the are those the guys? Like my cards? Which had their own method of inscription to create cards. Oh, there's the camera! Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Oh, there you go. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. Oh, what? Okay. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. Magnificus look an awful lot like the wolf. The weasel was like the stoat looks like Poe. With the cards scribes scribed them. Until one day a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Is that me? I'm guessing that's me. Okay, choose a starting deck to mark my ambition. The dead, the beasts, the machines, the wizards. Uh, okay. Oh, I can move! Okay. How do I interact? Click. Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become the scribe of the dead. Scribe of beasts. Scribe of technology. Scribe of magics. Let's be edgy. I will take this. The cards were added to my collection. Scribe of the dead. Is my goal. Oh. That's the dude outside talking too. Hello. Who are you? Wolf. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this brig fixed in full disclosure. It'll take me as, exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, uh, come back later. Good to know. Thank you for your honesty. But okay, it's like a roaming RPG, almost. But let's try and go back to Leshy's cabin. Since I beat him, maybe there's something of interest here. 273. No. No fish, no pass. The angler! Is this the prospector too? Dang, nap it! That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. You probably the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Bullfrog, Uriuli, Mole, Bonehound. When opposing a creature, when opposing a creature placed opposite in space, has Guardian. I think that's Guardian. No, this is Guardian. That is the pack thing. Mage Pupils, Oda controls no Mox cards. Mage Pupil perishes. Cards are added to my collection. Let's go into the cabin, see what's going on here, here. Two, seven, three. Take a stinky pile of meat from the safe. Oh, okay, this is the puzzle.
drawer creaked open and you found a pack inside. Another beastly card pack. What have I got? Field mice. When the field mice is played, copies created in my hand. Another Ura Yuli. Salmon, water ball. Also, at the end of the uh, his turn, salmons will move. Oh, so uh, Strata, whatever it was. Bonehound. Ruby Mox. Can't be sacrificed. While Ruby Mox is on the board, it provides an orange gem to its owner. Okay, I'm assuming that's part of the whole. Oh, another one. That's part of the wizard's things. Mole. Mole Man. Cat. Ruby Mox. And Mage Pupil. Alter deck. I can alter my deck. Okay. Skeleton Draugr. Can't be sacrificed when it perishes. Creature in its place is released. After attacking Skeleton perishes. The end of the owner's turn. Grave Digger General Bone. Zombie. Frank and Stein. And Bonehound. Mole Man, Aureoli, Bullfrog, Cat, Salmon, Field Mice, Mole. And I have the Wizards and the Moxes. Look, I'm ask I'll ask you to make one for me for now. Well, how am I going to include buggering anything if you don't let me do that? Also, I'll include the cat. I won't include Orioli because I think that's a bit much. But... Perhaps Frankenstein. No. Considering the amount of things that die in this deck, let's go with the Bonehound. Okay. I'll talk to Leshy in a second. Let's go into this room first. You wish to trade? You don't perchance have any pelts. No, that is just like, disappointing, but I also accept foils. Pack. Squirrel ball, stoat. Squirrel, Ouroboros. Now, I've been told the Ouroboros is actually extremely good, and I should try and get one when I can. What happens if I go down here? Nothing. Dagnabbit, I can smell that meat on you. I'm still missing that dang hound. Can't you put a little in her bowl? Oh! Oh! Sure. My mistake, buddy. I'm sorry. You're hard of hearing? Give me some proof. She's alright. She's right here, buddy. Fish in the pass. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. You share a desire for you to challenge me, but first. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create my beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You can use it to create photos of the beasts in the woods. My subordinates, the prospect of the angler and the trapper, they can each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay. So what I do is I go here. Snap a picture. Go back to the prospect. Oh, but no, that's my, that's my girl. I'll let you pass me an into yonder palm. But dang, now, but first we got a battle. Ooh. Okay. So now it's almost a bit more of a traditional card game. Marvelous. Your first battle. Stinkbug! Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play my cards, you'll need to collect bones. You'll get a bone one. Why do your eyes glaze over? Hmm? Marvelous. You already understand. My time as an insect was not a total waste. You are the stink bug. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if I do this.
Moving. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Okay, let's put you down here. Dig up a bone. Play you there. Okay. Yeah, okay. And I've just lost. Oh, no, I haven't. Yes, I have. Yeah, let's just finish this bit. Like, I lose. It's all good. Rules are rules. Okay, sure. So, let's alter the deck. Skeleton is a bit shit. Um, but, what we'll do instead is recalibrate. So. Put a couple of bone hands in this time. I don't see what's actually so useful about the orange gem. All the mage people for now. So what I will do instead. Field mice. Cat. Salmon. Bullfrog. More mole. Or just one mole. And then. Grave diggers. Zombies. Drago. Frankenstein. Then fill the rest with the skeletons. I think that's a little more doable. Yeah, I know. We got a battle. I can do it this time, though. I'm a little more confident. Because at this point, I can sacrifice and do this instead. So it's a block. Easy peasy. Dragon releases the creature inside, and it's a skeleton. Leap over to block. Boom. Two foils gained. Nice! Okay, I'm learning how to play now. Very cool. Fair is fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these cards here are better than gold. Grizzly card pack. Grizzly, the Mantis God. Raven, Skelamagus. So it's both a wizard and a skeleton. But it is for attack. Okay, I'm immediately adding that motherfucker into my deck because Mantis God is Mantis Dog God. Um. Like, even if he's not a buffed up Mantis God up, up to the nines, he's still a Mantis God. And triple attack is beautiful. Hi. I need eight foils before I can get myself the Ouroboros, but I will get myself the Ouroboros. Okay. Let's keep rolling. Fish. Place the photo of the bait on the line. Yes. Take photo. Nice. Yeah, because he wouldn't let me go through if I only had the bait. I have the fish, though. Fish. Fresh fish. Good. Still. Must beat. 
salmon. Okay, but this is fine. Skeleton collapses from a pile of bones. Okay. Dig off bone. Measure the deep. Take the skeleton out. Play the zombie. Yeah, because he's free. Yep, yep. Nah, I'm through. Oh no. no okay. Technically speaking, not yet. I wonder what that blue bar is up the top. Let's just finish this off here. I really wonder what that blue bar at the top is. I'm not sure the skeletons was a good idea. I don't think my bony blads were such a good choice. You know? End of the day. I may have screwed myself over with a difficult deck to play, but it's all good. I think that the issue, though, is that Bonehound costs, like, seven. Seven is a fucking lot. Um... Let's take out one Bonehound. <coughs> Try putting in a Raven. Try reducing the number of these dudes that I have to play with. Add more actual skeletons, which I can use as cheap sacrificing fuel. That's what comes to mind, at least. For example. Something like this. Strikes me as a much more solid opener than the one I played before. Let's turn that into some even more foils. You beat, you pass. First, take. Beastly card. Bloodhound. Ruby Ox. Banshee. Banshee is good. Salmon. Uriuli. Me. Work continue. Find fish for Lashy. Way to yonder pond is clear. Let's quickly alter the deck. Switch out at this point. I would switch out Frankenstein for a banshee. Actually, no, I could switch out a zombie for a banshee and keep Frank and Stein. Like, yeah, it's a 2 2. With no text. It's not exactly good. Two packs inside. What do we got? Gem Fiend. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. Field Mice, Orioli, Adder. And open the next pack. Salmon. Hrokal. Waterboard. When it's played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. What do the energy cells do? Broken Obol. When Broken Obol dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. Okay, so I need to push the trap. And 
take a picture of the pelt. Okay. It's odd that you're making me do this little adventure game logic stuff to get here, but I understand. You, you brought a pelt, and please, get another set of the skinny knife. It's time to set another trap. I smell the hair's blood on you. Bullfrog burrowing trap. When an empty space would be struck by a trap in place, when it perishes, uh, opponent creature will perish as well. One, two. And I get two bones out of that. It's flying, so it ignores the trap. What do the energy things do? I have really no idea. It's not worth it. is significantly more worth it. No, it isn't. This is worth it. Okay. wasn't worth it. It's fine though. The balance of things is being restored. Okay, that releases the skeleton inside it. Uh, one, two. Field mouse. I don't have enough kills. Don't have enough sacrifices. Okay. Much as we can push on this one. Nice. And we're at eight foils. Boom. The trap is shut, yet the player escapes, and the trap awaits for the next victim. You defeated the three of us now, Lashy awaits. Beast card pack. Wolf cub. Green mage. The power of the green mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay. Broken noble. Once the broken noble is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Another mantis god. Wolf cub. Feel nice. I would like to trade. I would like the Ouroboros, please. Okay. All to the deck. Now you get to see the genius at work, also known as me figuring out how the hell am I going to balance this deck. Um, Salmon out. Ouroboros in. Other relatively low cost options. I can remove Frankenstein in favor of the wolf cub. No, I'm pretty solid about where I place that. And I prefer the bone, bone hound to the bloodhound, just generally speaking. Mantis god is mantis god, obviously. I don't know if I can have a deck with more than 20 cards, but I'm going to keep it to 20 cards just 
because I don't know. You have bested the unhinged prospect of the gormless angler and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. My beasts are famished. Bang, bang. Classic department. I only need a photo of that one's cost. One moment before that one dies. I need to capture its stats. And then it's keyword. It's going to try and take his keyword. I could just give him a straight up skeleton. Yep. And finally the sigils. That will do. Death of your creatures for a beautiful mosaic. If I've managed to invalidate his gimmick by a complete accident, that would be very funny. Mmm, we're bumping! No. Okay. Touch of death. Wolf. Uh, I have nothing to sacrifice. Death touch. Take that one down. Not great. Not great at all. Ouroboros. I hate this. Oh, it gets stronger. Oh, yes. There we go. Now I understand. And I lost. How utterly disappointing. I was hoping for a greatest challenge. Oh, it's all over so quickly. Oh, if I can extend the struggle. The kill is only satisfying the struggle that precedes it. Okay. Retool deck. Clearly I have too many things that cost too much. Feel my sad's too much for me to summon. Maybe I could add another Mantis God. Yes. The Raven is a good damage dealer. So are the Banshee. So is the Banshee. Mantis God is perfect. Just the way he is. Ouroboros can become amazing, I think. I just need to give him time. Uh, let's try again, Leshy. Snap. Camera's poised show me something worthwhile. Okay. Let's start like this. Transcends to a higher form. Okay. Bang. Passes into a pile of bones. Takes a picture of the cost. Oh. Pops into a pile of bones. Takes the stats. One. Hmm. You never did finish your death card. That wasn't enough death. Hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. Okay. One turn. Excellent. I will take it. Need to block. We're through. 
Three foils gained. The great Sai scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light envelops a long forgotten monument. Hey, I should go back. Oh, it's showing me that anyway. One. Nice. Avenging Druid, complete the Temple of Beasts. You had triumphed. Narrowly avoiding Tooth and Claw, the Scribe of Beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Let's see another beastly card pack. Cat. Meat bot. Oh, the energy is for summoning these dudes! Count as three blood rather than one blood for a sacrificed. Rayoli, Grizzly, Draugr. Ooh, more. But okay, the robots, uh, the droids, are all triggered off the energy cells. Okay. Which are instead gained by turn. Oh, battery low. Scrab would be defeated. Stop. What is that? Oh. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so... Bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. Hi, Stoat. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Huh. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Ay ay ay. This keeps getting curiouser and curiouser. Am I allowed to go here? I am. You're here! Marvellous. I'm Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned by four glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which two marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Found a piece of an epitaph. It means eaten by a hungry dog. Okay. We sifted through the bones and found a card pack inside. <gasps> a deathly card pack. Frankenstein. Tomb robber. Activate. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. The walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. Thick draw. The thick boy. Elk fawn. Grows into an elk. Add to collection. Hark. Eleven slice of lemon approaches. Brand triggers a line. You think you will squeeze a defeat out of me? What the heck is that sigil? Ghost ship. Waterborne. Drop a skeleton in its place. Oh, I see. You're a bit of a shitlord. Um, I'll do a little bit of fun. Grave digger digs up a bone. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Ghost ship moves to a new space and a skeleton jumps ship. Okay, I understand your gimmick now. Easy peasy. Aye, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take you this. Death card back. Dead hand. When a dead hand is played, discard your hand and draw a new hand of four cards. Buff conduit. Other creatures with a circuit completed by gut buff conduit gain one power. And because you bested me with you, I'll share my secret. My name's Royal. It's the far right too. Here's the headpiece. Royal Dominguez, 1589 to 1632. Royal Dominguez. Found a piece of an epitaph in the casket, amongst other things. Hit by a falling piece of ice. So it's not you. Found a card pack amongst the giblets and scantlings. Dead hand, broken oboe, 
Sapphire Mox. It's a blue gem. Revenant. After attacking Revenant perishes. There was no cure. What? Like I said, my name's Royals, the far right tooth. Your life didn't give me lemons, so I died. It didn't not give you lemons because you died of scurvy? There was no cure. Does not hold a grudge. Oh, it's a trader again. You wish to trade? Got three foils. Get a zombie, a grave digger, a skeleton, or a bone heap. Pay two bones to increase the power of bone health of bone heap by one. Okay. And how much is a pack? Five. Well, let's alter the deck again quickly. Before I continue along my little quest. Okay. So, I think that actually a second cat could be quite useful. I could instead exchange that for the bullfrog. No, the bullfrog is useful. The bullfrog is useful. Bullfrog blocks aerial attackers. Bullfrog is useful. Maybe I could exchange them for one of my grave diggers. Broken obols. Revenant walkers. I would be tempted to put walkers in. Um, maybe I could put in walkers. I can replace a skeleton with a walkers, since, like, they kind of make up the difference a little. Yeah, these dudes. Don't know. These are the gem boys. They're green gems. You cost a blue gem, which can only be gotten by a sapphire mox. Okay. This is all adding some interesting layers of complexity to the game I wasn't expecting. You. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let us be over with it. You're the one who was nibbled by an doge. And three. One, two, three. Collapses into a pile of bones. Not great. Rook collapses into a pile of bones. Easy. Uh, okay. Play Banshee. Leave it for a turn. Okay, better. Better bring a bucket. Or a borse. Skeleton collapsed into a pile of bones. Oh! I can play the bone family. I sacrifice them get five bones and go to five foils easy peasy it is over you chewed me out now please look away turn your eyes to this card pack instead what do you got for me broken noble junior sage so that's a green gem card bullfrog grave digger necromancer when another creature you own dies it is returned to life and dies again immediately Huh. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please, do not go digging up my bones. Sawyer Patel. 1702-1778. So. Sawyer Patel. Eaten by a hungry dog. So I think this one is hit by a piece of falling ice. Does not hold a grudge. Just gut instinct here. Brought down by scurvy. There you go, see? 
Ooh, what? You have no offering? Hmm. What the fuck? Royal Dominguez. Brought down by Scurvy. There was no cure. I know, I'm stretching it a little bit. I'm trying. Brr. Did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Okay. Now you see that. He's a funky little addition. Go Ouroboros. Overkill damage. I always forget about overkill damage. Nice. Cool. Good. Nice. Leave it. Oh, shit. Ugh, the skeleton was there, so I did excess damage. I could have gotten more. Ah, he won. But now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. 49er will move in the direction described by Sigil. Insector drone will strike an opponent directly flying. You did beat me, so I guess I gotta fess up. Name's K Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. 1970 to winter 1992. Pulled up an epitaph piece. The defibrillator failed. Is it like this? No, it can't be like this. Hold on. Defibrillator failed. Does not hold a grudge. Hey! Marvelous! I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. I might not, honestly. Um, I have gotten through this on luck alone most of the time. But! Marvelous. Just marvelous. I was beginning to worry about the sealed way behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of your challenger's wits until one day discovered. I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think that you are aware that I currently hold that title. But it matters not, because you shall not win. On guard! My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. Leap over to block. Let's exploit the heck out of this. I don't know how Bone Hand works. Marvelous! An opportunity to use my quill. RP Bone Hand, turn 1 to turn 2, Death by Mantis God. This one will be back. Bang, 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 ba bang. That's one life gone. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. Rip all your cards, turn one to turn three, death by grim war. Oh, fuck indeed. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. What? Oh, no matter. Death is never final. Sarcophagus, turn two to turn four. Death by zombie. That one will be back in no time. Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. They're no longer useful as they were. They are now ablative. Rip zombie, turn four to turn six. Death by skeleton. Collapses to pieces on the ground. Yeah, so basically they've become ablative wounds. Hmm. 
Mummy Lord. Oh dear. Meanwhile, we become full wolf. Block Mummy Lord for now. Ah, the block didn't go as well as I had hoped it would. Because, you know, it didn't actually block much of anything. Rip Zombie. Rip Mummy Lord. I still lose, though. Barely. I barely lost that time. You wish to become the scribe of the deck, and that is your best deck? I have nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm going to go buy a card pack, and then I'm going to end the recording, because I think that this is a lot of progress already made. And I don't like any of these other cards here. Let's open the Deathly card pack. I got Bone Heap anyway. I got Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. When Warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of points where I think that there is synergy and crossover between the cards and the decks. But I think that I'm going to have to discover that in another episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I am very happy to be back. And I've been enjoying this game. This is really cool. I was not expecting to have the sort of RPG, almost Pokemon. Uh, I wouldn't say Pokemon, but like this sort of, yeah, I guess this JRPG overworld card battling thing. I quite like it, but it's this is now the sort of thing where I can't go this run. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. It is no. Now I need to think about deck theory, which is something I'm going to do either in between episodes or next episode before fighting Grimora again. But anyway, thank you all so much for uh, your support of the channel and for uh, watching on. Uh, I'm still, like, in the comments, I'm still really interested to hear if people want me to start putting my face on camera or to start using, like, an avatar or something. Um, but until then, we'll see how we go after the Dead Space video because this next one is going to be the last one. Um, but until then, I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.